Hello, I'm Koala. I'm a solo female traveler on my way to visit every single country in the world. And I'm finally completing my last country in Europe. The capital city of this country is the only divided capital in the world that split with a border. How does it work? On one side, people speak Greek and they are Orthodox Christians, while on the other side, people speak Turkish and are Muslims. Sounds interesting? Stay until the end for a full video. Yeah. I love him. Oh, okay. What's your name? I like you very much. Eva. Eva. Easy, very easy. You're so friendly. Yeah. You give me really good public transport <laughs> advice where I can shower inside the bus. <laughs> Just arrived at Cyprus, my last European country in the Europe continent. Yes, I'm very excited to be here. And yeah, the first person I met, which is the lady at the public transport information desk, she's so lovely. And already have a good experience. The bus in Cyprus, you can charge here. And from the airport to my hotel is like more than one hour drive. And if you take taxi, it's, it's like 40, 80, 80, 70 or 80 euro. It's quite expensive, so I didn't mind using the bus because I'm not in the rush anyway. So Wi-Fi, there's like a charger, but I can charge my phone. Currently at the intercity bus, it costs only 4 euro to get there. It's more than one hour bus ride. Just... Finally, checking into my hotel after a couple of hours commute from the airport. Very cute, booty hotel. Very high tech stuff. It's relatively small, but it's got a really nice boutique view of it. This is so high tech. Cool, right? Pretty cute and nice. Hello, Cyprus! Finally arrived after 10 hours flight and another 2 hours by bus. I'm really tired. I had like almost 15 hours commute. After I drop off my luggage, I go straight for some good food in the center of the city, Limassol. They've got a lot of cute cafes and restaurants in town. I'm definitely opting for Cyprus specialty food. Let's check out our menu. I love the rusty feeling of the blue painted door. I'm a big fan of people watching on the street. Now I'm inside the old town in Limassol. Finally get to sit down and I order a Cyprus coffee. Cheers, 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 finally. Cyprus coffee is a must order. It's so good. It's so different. It's very different from Turkish coffee and it's also very different from espresso and other type of coffee. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. But. I first tried Cyprus coffee at my Cyprus friend Dino's place in Singapore. Now I finally got a chance to have the real local one in the country. My food came. They look very yummy. One of the famous food is pork kebab. I've had so many kebabs in my life, but kebabs are always associated with Middle Eastern cuisines like Turkish or Lebanese. Because they're Muslim countries, I've actually never tried pork kebab. Got a fresh pita bread. This is a traditional Cyprus dish. The food here is really good. I added some fresh lemons onto the super flavorful kebab grills. They are so yummy. Let's try the kebab. Because in the nearby countries, if you get kebab, you can never get pork kebab. Cyprus is the only place I've seen pork kebab. And so I just decided to try pork kebab and it ended up tastes really, really good. After my meal, I explore a bit other snacks and the town until I find this super yummy dry fruit. Good morning guys, these are a lot of breakfast. Cyprus coffee and freshly squeezed orange juice plus grapefruit juice. So I see the cuisine here is really good and I think they make kind of like French cuisine in the hotel. So let's try out the omelette. This is really good. Good afternoon, it's the ball walk in Limassol. 
got a little pool on the side and this side is the ocean Maybe. As you can see, you probably realize that there are not a lot of people here Yes, there is only a population of 1.2 million people in this country I don't want to go too much into politics Why they divide into half Greek and half Turkish as a traveler, I'm only here to share my experience with you as an integrated world and hopefully harmony too. It's too windy now to fly drones. I actually brought uh, my drones to come here to fly. But yeah, probably the wind is a little too strong. Now I need to climb up because it's very rocky on the road here. They got interesting art pieces throughout the island, which we'll explore more later. There's this outdoor gym by the ocean. Cyprus is not a big island and can be traveled in a couple of hours. The length of the island from east to west is only 240 kilometers and the maximum width from north to south is 100 kilometers. It's a pretty walkable city, nice walk where nobody bothers you and that totally sounds like a solo traveler's spot. Walking inside the old town of Lima, so there are some bars and cafes on the two sides of the street. People like to sit outdoor. I it was really hot during the day, so I went back to take a nap. And now 6 p.m. I just come out again because the sunset is like 8 something p.m. So there's still a while to go. It's a good time. Yeah, it's cooling down a little bit. I just met Chris from New York City. He's actually from Cyprus originally and he has something to introduce about Cyprus. What's going on guys? I'm here with Koala who's <laughs> on her trip. Uh, last country in Europe and I have the Instagram account at Cyprus. Lovely meeting her. So let me ask you a question. So oh, if you were to, to introduce oh, Cyprus to a foreigner, what would you say about oh, Cyprus? I would say Cyprus is a hidden gem of the Mediterranean. Up and coming country that low key no one really knows about and it's the beaches are great great people, uh, very friendly, and if you're thinking about traveling here for just to get away and relax, definitely have Cyprus on your bucket list. Don't skip out on it. What's a national dish to eat here? A national dish? Uh, let's let's say chef talies, which are pork. Pork, uh, pork chef talies or souvlaki. Like pork uh, kebab or? Yeah, like pork, pork kebab or the, the souvlaki. Oh, I ate that dish. And then we have halloumi. Halloumi is like the, the cheese that's only made in Cyprus. Cool. It's the only cheese that you can grill. Cool. All right, you guys gotta try that. Out at the marina in Nimaso right now, met a couple of friends around. So people are all traveling here from different part of the world. Met a couple of girls um, from Serbia, which we challenged them to jump into the water. And since then, there are a lot more people jumping into the water. Mariana. Okay, I'm gonna put you on my Instagram. I got thirty thousand followers. Whoa, 37,000. I will give you a shout out. Right. <laughs> Wait, what do we have to do? Just, just jump in. <laughs> you said you wanted to jump. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Wait, all right. Yeah, we'll go I'm, I'm going to say like, I'm going to say like, you know, Elena and Mariana are going to jump in. So I, I challenge Elena and Mariana to jump in. And Mariana to jump in. And then this is the challenge. And then once, you know, you guys are ready. You guys can go. I'll give you a count and I'll be like, alright, you guys ready? Alright, so. And we have Elena and Mariana from Serbia who I've challenged to jump into the water here in Limassol. You guys ready to jump? Yes. Alright, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hey. That was so <laughs> The money. They want to get paid. You have change. It was fun playing some challenges with Chris and the girls. They end up getting paid for the challenge just now. Seeing the Cyprus flag, I want to share a fun fact about it. Cyprus is the first country in the world to put its map on its flag. It has this very unique white color with a map in the middle. After Cyprus, there are some other countries who follow the example. It's Kosovo.
I see Cyprus people are putting up some of the Ukraine flags on their balcony. Cyprus is a really unexpected trip for me. I didn't expect to complete uh, the entire Europe by this trip because I was uh, saving Cyprus together with Syria because I haven't been to Syria. Uh, but apparently there's only like very limited direct flight uh, to Cyprus which is from like Greece. So I thought that I might as well just come to Cyprus this time. Very interestingly, yesterday when I talked to the Cyprus local people, they said that there's um, the island's kind of divided by the Greece side of Cyprus and a Turkish side of the Cyprus. So in the north, uh, you see a lot of Turkish flag versus now in the south here, it's mainly Greece Greek flag. Uh, so. Very, very interesting culture, uh, but I mean, Cyprus is an independent country. It should not call like Greek side or Turkish side, which is Cyprus. I decide to go get some gelato. It's been a hot day by the water, and it's so summer. I find they have some interesting flavors here. Let's have some gelato. And I got this goji berry flavor I've never tried before. On the island of Cyprus, a whole city is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The name of the city is Puffos. On average, Cyprus has only 40 rainy days a year and the sun shines 320 days a year. For comparison, in Moscow, there are about 90 sunny days a year, cloudy or rainy about 200 days. Very old school kind of elevator go the that's the elevator you know tell then you open it from here nighttime of cyprus is less hot but it's just as fun People's party. I'm crashing a local party here right now. There are a lot of families and kids running around. Breakfast is really good. It's omelets, fresh juice, Cyprus coffee, croissant. Seriously, I just can't get enough of the breakfast here. Every single dish is so yummy, so fresh, so high quality. Looking at the shades of trees to have one hour long relaxing breakfast. Time to go out now. Let's go. Today, I decided to explore its art sculptures and installations. It's just a relaxing day in Limassol. Their arts are so cool. Not only they set up waterfront walk, but they even put up pools everywhere throughout the city. I have a lot of fun hanging out with me, myself, and Koala. I've also taken a lot of Instagrammable pictures. Besides the purple frame art, this metal ball is my favorite art on the island. One thing I do in every country I travel to is to try out their local McDonald's and check out their special menu. I'm trying out the McDonald's in Cyprus. I didn't know Cyprus has got whiskey, brandy, vodka, and all that. Koala finds out that the oldest wine in the world is made in Cyprus, Comandaria. 
which dates back to before 2000 BC. It's a delicious sweet with high alcohol content. Not only wine, but Cyprus also has the oldest of many things, such as the oldest perfumes. I enjoy a lazy afternoon beach, drinks, and desserts. This is the Cyprus version of Bakaba. It's huge. Then, another amazing dinner to celebrate my final country of Europe. Waiting for my dinner and I got a slingshot to swing away. My last dinner in Cyprus, I ordered sea bass. It's a grilled fish. I heard it's really good, so I'm just going to try with some salad on the side. With pita bread and a local red wine. The pita bread here tastes so good. It's like it tastes so different from other part of the world. Good stuff. You guys, cheers to my last European country. Europe completed.